In this instructional video we'll provide detailed instructions for importing files into visual controls to start your design. Importing a reference file can speed up the design process. Visual Controls imports various file formats from DWGs, image formats, PDFs, visual controls and visual lighting files. The PDF file will be imported as a background image to use as a reference for your design. Both Vector PDF and Image PDF will be imported as raster images. From the File menu, select Import, then select PDF. Locate and select the file and click Open. All pages from the PDF file will then be loaded into the Import dialog. You can select a single page from the file or multiple pages. If you know the scale for the PDF, then select the correct scale from the drop-down menu. Click Import to bring the file into the project. Next, left-click to set a base point location to insert the PDF, or right-click to automatically place the file at the origin, where X and Y equals zero. You should verify the PDF scale is correct. Use the distance command to measure a known dimension of the PDF, like a doorway, ceiling tile or a lighting product. From the Modify tab, select the Reference option from the Scale section. Left-click to select the image, and then right-click to confirm the selection. Enter the desired dimension of the object. Left-click to begin the reference line, then left-click at the second location. The PDF file will be rescaled based on this reference measurement. To crop a PDF or image, select the Crop command found on the Modify tab. After selecting the image or PDF that needs to be cropped, draw a two-point rectangle to crop the object. You can always reset the image to its original size by using the drop-down arrow below the crop command and selecting Reset Crop. To center the file after making any adjustments, select the PDF with a left click and adjust the location coordinates in the properties to 0, 0 for the X and Y positions. Click Done when complete. Imported PDF files are added to a new layer. Once all modifications have been made, you can lock the layer to prevent selecting the PDF as you work with your design. You can also prevent selecting the object by turning off the background selection filter. The vector-based file is the recommended file format to import into visual controls. Return to the Import section of the File menu and select the drawing format. Select the DWG file from the File dialog and click Open. The file will be automatically placed in the design. You should verify the DWG scale is correct by using the Distance command to measure a known dimension as we did for the imported PDF. Imported DWG files are added to a new layer group and will maintain its layer structure. You can lock any of the layers by selecting the edit icon and changing it to uneditable. This will prevent selection of the imported DWG objects as you work with your design. Additionally, visual controls can import a variety of image formats. The full list of file types include the following. As before, once the file has been selected, you can choose a scale in which to import the image or scale it after placing it in the design. As with the PDF and DWG files, a new layer will be created for the image. Also, like PDFs, you should verify and adjust the scale if necessary. Import a project created in the visual lighting software to create control designs for existing lighting projects. In visual lighting, export the project to the visual controls format. Import the file into visual controls by selecting the visual lighting option from the import menu.
imported files will be translated into a 2D representation of the design. A new layer group will be created for the visual lighting file, keeping the file's layer structure and organization. Visual controls will also recognize the rooms and luminaires used in the file and add them to the project manager. Now you can also import existing visual controls projects into your design, merging the different elements found in both. Once the import is complete, designs, print pages, and risers will be added to the current list of items in the project manager. The added elements will maintain their previous organization and naming unless there is a duplicate design. In that case, a numerical tag is included. This concludes this instructional video. Please send any questions or comments to the Visual Support Center at support at visual-3d.com.